This is Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Dominique Hargraves. She is the Executive Director of the U.S. Green Buildings Council of Los Angeles. And you must be very proud because coming up October 5th to the 7th will be the Green Build Expo. Is that its official title? It is the Green Build International Conference and Expo, and it's its first time coming to Los Angeles. I like your title thrilled. better. <laughs> How did it wind up coming to Los Angeles? Well, Los Angeles has been making big strides in sustainability. Mm -hmm. There are more hotels, more projects, and uh, more policy that is making green building possible in the city. And LA is a great place to it, be in October. It, no, there's no question about it. Now, obviously, the event is jam-packed. It is headquartered at the LA Convention Center, and I would mention to our friends watching that anyone can attend. Correct. Yeah, how do you sign on to attend? Go to greenbuildexpo.com, okay. and you can find information about all of the events, the right. speakers, workshops, and there's a lot to do. And if you want to go to the floor, no fee. If you want to participate in the conference, there is a fee. Correct. But regardless, lots to do. Absolutely. Let's talk about your opening plenary. That's quite an event on that October 6th. It sure is. Tell us it about will, it. It will feature comments from the very popular Lieutenant Governor ah, um, Gavin Newsom. Sure. Um, our CEO, who's in his final year, Rick Pedrizzi. Nice. And other special guests, including Coldplay. Just Coldplay. <laughs> How'd you get them? <laughs> it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah. What I think could be the most entertaining, if I may say, of course Coldplay is very entertaining, but you are allowing guests, whether they're from Los Angeles or otherwise, to participate in Green Build Tours. I'd love to go. I'm an Angelino. 31 of them. They will start at the LA Convention Center. Tell us about some of those tours. That's right. So they all leave from the LA Convention Center, and there are tours on um, Monday, um, Friday, and Saturday okay. that week. Got it. And um, there are 31, as you right. mentioned. Should some I mention them, some? Oh, you got them in your head? Yeah. Go. Yeah. So some of them um, leave via the Metro Expo line from got Pico it. Station. Okay. You will ride all the way out to Santa Monica. Uh, got it. You will um, rent a bike. And let us remind our viewers who are watching statewide mm -hmm. that the Expo line didn't go to Santa Monica until mm -hmm. May. Right. I mean, this is new. Right. And this is really, it has transformed the west side of Los Angeles. Yeah. I admit I live there, and I <laughs> live 0.9 miles from one of the stops. Yeah. And I absolutely love the Expo line. The Expo line is so popular, they need more cars. D they do. They and, really do. And I, I know I'm speaking on your behalf, but I'll just do it because uh, I love the Expo line. You can go from downtown mm -hmm. to the ocean. Yes. On the Expo line. In about 30 minutes. And, that's, and that's what your the attendees will, will enjoy. Yeah, so that's just one tour, riding out to Santa Monica, visiting the NRDC. National the Resource Defense Council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the um, Civic Plaza, and also enjoying the natural beauty of the beach. Right, the pier, Santa Monica Pier, yeah. a lot yeah. to do there. Um, in Long Beach, we're visiting the Port of Long Beach. Where we with are today. A boat mm -hmm. tour, as well as the aquarium. You can also um, head up to Pasadena, mm -hmm. take a look at Caltech's campus. Right. You can go to Warner Brothers. Yes. Uh, I'm sure a lot of our visitors who are coming will enjoy that. They have yes. a sustainability tour. Yes. Um, South LA and its revitalization, especially its jazz district, yes. uh, is a sight to see indeed. Um, I would also mention that if you want to find the various eco-friendly green buildings in Los Angeles, there's a way to do that. Yes. <laughs> Even if you don't participate on the tour or while you're participating on the tour. Or you can make your own tour. Tell us how you do that. <laughs> What's your new app? Is it an app? It's called an app. Yeah. Uh, so this is Ecomap LA. Got it. And within Ecomap LA, you can research every green building, every historic building, every iconic building and the theme for green build this year is iconic green which ah, fits with yes. iconic buildings places the hollywood sign i like it um all you know all How things that make la that? special i mean that's got to be like you said we are a very green region so how are you able to map every single green building well it's a lot of right. coding and addresses mm -hmm. and pins um that are very easy to search sure, I so you can you can search long beach all the buildings pop up, up right. Pasadena, um, the whole county. 
want to talk about a gift, a gift that you're giving to Los Angeles. How kind of you <laughs> to give a gift to the city of Los Angeles <laughs> or the region Los Angeles. of Los Angeles um, for welcoming Greenbuild to the region. Yes. Before we talk about the gift, I want you to tell me about Trash for Teaching. I think I've interviewed someone about that through mm -hmm. your team. So tell me about Trash for Teaching, and that gets us into the gift that you're giving. Yes, so Trash for Teaching, T for T, T for, for T, short, right. mm -hmm. is located in Gardena, mm -hmm. and they believe that repurposed materials are a great way for young people to learn. Oh, for sure. So they collect, manufacture scraps in the warehouse, and then young people come in and use these scraps to build things. Can I tell you, when my kids were younger, we built what was called the cereal box sisters. <laughs> and we had cereal boxes all through the house, and there were three cereal boxes. And we you know, just regaled them with all these kind of jewels and stuff. And that was our effort at recycling with, you know, and having fun while we're doing it. I love that. Keep going. I'm sorry, I digress. <laughs> so we ran a competition. We, we knew we would produce this gift, this mm -hmm. legacy project, to coincide with the opening of Greenbuild here mm -hmm. in October. And we received lots of submissions, but the best one was from T4T, mm -hmm. Trash for Teaching. Mm -hmm. And they proposed the Ecotech Makerspace, which is a high-tech version of a lab. And so it will include 15 Dell Inspiron touchscreen computers. It will have a 3D printer and a laser cutter. It so doesn't exist right now, by the way. It's coming. It's We're working but, on it. But no, but my <laughs> point is, it's not as if this is something that exists and you're like, oh yeah, guess what? You can go down there and see it. You right. are developing this yes. in connection with t for t Gardena to provide this new space. I mean, this really is a gift. Thank you. Yeah, so keep going. I, I, I'm interrupting. So the maker space mm -hmm. will have all of this technology and it will welcome young people from the five local schools in Gardena. Right. And in, in future years, there will be an expansion sure. of the area so mm -hmm. more people can enjoy it. And when you come to the makerspace, you are in a team. You're given a challenge. And the challenge is, here's a box of scraps. Make a headset. Or design your own eco car. Or build the tallest tower that you can build with this box of leftovers. And so it's really a, a beautiful idea because items that would normally go into the waste stream or into the landfill are being used to give young people a chance to explore science, engineering, uh, uh, art, technology. I mean, there, there's so many reasons why this idea is inspired. My question is how quickly can you proliferate it <laughs> throughout the region? Because it yeah. really, it, it's a solution for so many different challenges that our society faces and we so we think so too right. we want to develop more of these ecotech maker spaces this mm -hmm. will not be the final now maker space. can the visitors who attend the green build expo visit the ecotech maker space yes it will be open it will be open because i wonder if you i mean look if i'm coming here from virginia and i see this i'd want to bring it to virginia Oh, yeah. So, I mean, is that something, uh, is it patented? I mean, uh, <laughs> like, well, how do you do it? No, the idea is free. <laughs> See, that's, that's terrific. Okay, so let's remind our viewers, if we want to attend the Greenbuild Expo, yes. the website is? Greenbuildexpo.com. And again, it's free, but for certain conferences, and that's a whole other conversation. But I can only imagine how proud you are, how excited you are. And again, it's October 5th, 6th, and 7th, yes. downtown Los Angeles. She is Dominique Hargrave. She is the executive director of the U.S. Green Building Council of Los Angeles. My name is Brad Palmer. You're watching us on Charter Local.